Welcome to Storytime with Mrs. Figs. This evening, I'm going to share a book with you by a local author. His name is Wade Bradford, and he is a professor at Moore Park College in Moore Park, California. You can visit his website, wadebradford.com, for more info. But this evening, I'm going to read to you there's a dinosaur on the 13th floor. Written by Wade Bradford, illustrated by Kevin Hawks, and published by Penguin Random House. There's a dinosaur on the 13th floor. Welcome to the Shermore Hotel, said the bellhop. You must be Mr. Snore. Let me show you to your room. The sooner the better, said Mr. Snore. I am very uh, uh, sleepy. Here you are, said the bellhop. Room 104. Sweet dreams, Mr. Snore. Mr. Snore thanked the bellhop, got ready for bed, crawled under the covers, and switched off the light. But as he was about to lay his head upon the pillow, he heard a squeaking sound. Hello, front desk. This is Mr. Snore in room 104. Somebody is sleeping on my pillow. Yes, that would be the mouse, said the bell. I believe he has had a very long day. So am I, grumbled Mr. Snore, and I do not wish to share a room with a mouse. So the bellhop led Mr. Snore to a room on the second floor. Sleep tight, Mr. Snore. Mr. Snore crawled into bed and switched off the light. But just as he was falling asleep, he felt a rush of cold air. Mr. Snore called the front desk again. Someone is hogging all the covers. That would be the pig, said the bellhop. Shall I bring you another blanket? No, Mr. Snore fumed. I want another room. So the bellhop took Mr. Snore to the third floor where there were no pigs or mice to be found. Mr. Snore kicked off his slippers, crawled into bed, and was just about to close his eyes when Sorry about the leaky ceiling, the bellhop said, as Mr. Snore marched past the ocean view on the fourth floor. This time, declared Mr. Snore, I will find my own room. He found one on the fifth 
floor. I don't think you will like this room, whispered the bellhop. Unless, of course, you are fond of spiders, cried Mr. Snore. Quick, said the bellhop, to the elevator. How do you feel about bees, asked the bellhop. The same way I feel about spiders, said Mr. Snore. Please skip the sixth floor. The seventh floor was too hot. The eighth floor was too cold. The ninth floor was just... Giraffes! cried Mr. Snore. The bellhop smiled. Would you care to guess what's on the 10th floor? On the 10th floor, they found hamsters. Where are the rest of the giraffes? Asked Mr. Snore. On the 11th floor, said the bellhop. Then I will stay on the 12th said Mr. Snore. So they went to the 12th floor. Hey, it's empty, said Mr. Snore. No one ever stays here, explained the bellhop. Perfect, said Mr. Snore. And he lay down and shut his eyes. It does tend to get a bit noisy, the bellhop warned. But Mr. Snore was already fast asleep. Stomp! 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 Gurgle! Gurgle! Swish! Swish! Mr. Snore rang the front desk. I cannot sleep with all this noise. I'm going to find a room on the 13th floor. Oh dear, no, said the bellhop. On the 13th floor, there is a click. Mr. Snore did not wait to hear the bellhop's warning. He went up to the 13th floor. There were no mice, no pigs, no penguins, no snakes, no spiders, no dolphins, no bees, and no giraffes. Not even a hint of a hamster. Nothing but a giant room with a giant bed and a giant pillow. I do hope Mr. Snore will be all right, said the bellhop. Ring! Went the phone at the front desk of the Sharemore Hotel. Hello. This is the dinosaur on the 13th floor. Somebody is sleeping on my pillow. The bellhop sighed. 
that would be Mr. Snore, he said. He has had a very long day. The end. And you can see the dinosaur came down to the lobby of the Sharemore Hotel to sleep in his bunny slippers. Good night, sleep tight, and don't let the dinosaur on the 13th floor bite. Until next time, much love to you.